Welcome sa sip9.com. This video tutuloy na yung ating series about interest. No? This is uh, the second uh, video in the series. And in this video, magsusolve tayo ng isa pang problem. No? So, let's read the problem. Uh, John borrowed 50,000 pesos for a period of one year from a lending company at a 3% monthly interest. How much money does he need to pay in total? So, so si John, uh, meron siyang... Uh, inutang na pera na 50,000 and for one month, for each month ay um, meron siyang 3% interest. No? Medyo malaki ito. No? Kala nyo malito 3% but later, uh, makikita nyo na medyo malaki ito. So, so ang interest niya per month is uh, the 50,000 no? times the rate, no? Yung uh, 3% natin. And sabi natin from the previous video, yung uh, pag percent, hindi natin siya pwedeng gamitin as uh, sa, or hindi natin siya pwedeng gamitin sa pagko-compute. We have to uh, convert it to decimals, no? Or fractions, no? And here, uh, 3% can be converted to 0. Point. 0.3. No? So, pag 3%, uh, ang gagawin natin is to divide it by 100. And, pag nidivide mo ng 100, you have to move the uh, decimal. No? Ang decimal lang, isang whole number ay nandiyo sa harap. So, you have to move it to decimal places. No? Pag nagdivide ka ng 100. Kaya siya naging uh, 0 0.03. Pero, ang 0 0.03, nilagyan natin ng 0 usually sa harap. No? 0. So, kaya siya naging 0 0.03. So, Ang interest niya per month is equal to uh, 50,000. Of course, we have to multiply times 0 0.03. That's 0, 0, 0, 0, and 15. No? And ibig sabihin sa isang buwan, ang tubo niya ay 1,500. No? Hindi ko alam kung para yung given ko sa previous video, no? I, uh, but but in any case, uh, ito naman ay for a year. No? So, ang, ang tubo natin for uh, one month is 1,500. No? Kaso, ilang, ilang buwan yung ating... O ilang buwan ba niya hiniram? No? Actually, pag usapan natin dito simple interest. Babalik ako yung simple interest mamaya. No? So, for one... For one month, ang, ang ano natin, ang tubo natin was 1,500. So, 1,500 per month, kaso 12 months niya hiniram, di ba? So, times 12 tayo. So, we have 0, 0, we have 0, kero 1, 3, and then we have 0, 0, 5, 1. So, 0, 0, 0, ayun, 18,000 pesos yung ating uh, tubo for a year. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo kanina, malaki siya, no? Uh, although na ang 3%, mukha lang maliit. Mukha maliit, but uh, if you multiply it by 12, that's, uh, that's a big amount, no? So, ibig sabihin, the, the uh, answer to this is how much money does he need to pay in total? We have 50,000, yung pinaka uh, capital niya, o pinaka principal, and then yung 18,000 na tubo. Ibig sabihin, magbabayad siya ng 68,000 after a year. Now, uh, gusto kong linawin yung pinag-uusapan natin dito is uh, simple ito. No? Sim this is a simple interest. Kasi pag compounded interest, mas malaki. No? Ang simple kasi, ang kinukuha na lang natin ng percent, yun lang yung, yung, yung principal, no? yung, yung capital niya. Pero pag sinabi mo compounded interest, yung tubo niya, tinutubuan mo pa. No? So, ang pinag-uusapan lang natin dito is simple interest. Yung compound interest, uh, we will have a separate series for that. Now, ano napapansin nyo dito? Makaka-develop na tayo ng formula, no? Ang ginawa natin kanina is, if we let P, no? P be the principal. Principal. Yun yung amount money na, amount of money na hindi natin we have I as interest 
at yung R as rate, yung rate, yung may percent, no? Then, T, we have the time, no? Here, the time is month. Then, we can uh, use the formula I equals PRT. So, I, the interest, is equal to the principal, 5,000, times the rate, which is, sorry, 50,000 times 0 0.03, times the time, which is 12 months. Uh, ito yung ginawa natin, pag dinaretso mo yan, darating tayo sa 18,000. No? So, this is actually the formula for interest. Now, um, baka sabihin nyo, ang hirap-hirap nito, no? yung, yung, uh, uh, percent, gagawin nyo siyang uh, decimal. But actually, you can do a lot of other alternative solutions dito, no? For example, pag sinabi natin 3%, di ba? Yung word na percent, meaning per 100, di ba? Per 100. Per 100. So, pag sinabi mong 2%, that's that's 2 over 100. Pag sinabi mong 5%, that's 5 over 100. Kasi nga, per 100 yung ibig sabihin ng percent. Uh, pag sinabi mo 3%, that's 3 over 100, no? So, dito sa uh, unang computation natin kanina, yung 50,000 times 0 0.03, kung ayaw niya na mag-multiply ng ganyan, you can just uh, replace 0 0.03 with 3 over 100, di ba? 3 over 100. So, mangyayari dito, magka-cancel tayo ng dalawang zeros. So, mangyayari is, fifth, oh, sorry, 500 times 3, which is equal to 1,500. No? So, yung mga computations na yan ay pinag-aralan natin sa uh, conversion. No? Meron tayong series ng converting decimals to fractions to percent. Kasi pag alam mo yung conversion, minsan may mga pagkakataon na mas madali i-compute pag kinonvert mo siya from one form to another. Pero minsan, pag, pag decimal, pag kinonvert mo sa fraction, mas madali. Katulad nito, no? Minsan naman, pag fraction, kinonvert mo sa decimal, mas madali. So, depende minsan sa sitwasyon. So, dapat medyo alam nyo yung mga conversions na ganyan para mas madali kayong mag-compute. No? Okay, so I hope meron kayo na si sa video na to. Uh, gusto ko yung invite sa 9com yung ating website. And uh, kung nanonood kayo sa YouTube, you can uh, subscribe to our channel in uh, the Sip9 cha channel natin. We have to, uh, we have a lot of videos already. Uh, Naka-upload na tayo ng more than 600 videos. So, I hope uh, marami kayo natutunan dito sa ating series. See you in the next tutorial.